Let's take a look at how we can go in and edit our registry in a Windows 2019 server. Now, this also is going to cover how to recover from a virus in case when you go to boot up, you have an issue where you can't log in and gain control of your computer. Now, I'm doing this from a Hyper-V, but you can do this from a physical computer as well. It just makes it easier for me to show you how to do it. So I'm going to start by going into my settings and making sure I can boot off of my ISO file. So I'm making sure DVD is at the very top of the list. If not, just go ahead and click the Move Up button until it is. And then my DVD drive is pointing to my ISO file of my 2019 server. Now you uh, uh, also need to get a 2019 ISO file in order to do that. So now that I'm ready to boot off of this, I'll go ahead and click Start. And when it comes to the point where it says press any key to boot off the DVD, I will go ahead and do that. And there it is. And now we're going to go ahead and hit Setup. And let's go ahead and fill the screen. And let's make some changes. We are in our 2019 setup. Let's go ahead and click Next and choose Repair Your Computer. Now let's go ahead and choose Troubleshoot and go to our command prompt. Now we need to find out where our registry is. So we're going to go ahead and type in BCD Edit, hit Enter. And it's showing us that the operating system is in the C drive and Windows is our folder. So that's pretty much the default kind of uh, location. But sometimes you're going to see it show up as the D drive or something else when you boot off of setup. So let's go ahead and switch to the C drive. So we type C. And now we'll go ahead and type reg edit. And our registry editor comes up. Let's go into H key users and we'll go to file. And let's choose Load Hive. So we're going to find Load Hive under the C drive, Windows, System32, Config folder. So when you go there, go ahead and scroll down and choose the Software option. This is the software portion of your registry. Let's go ahead and click Open. And we'll give this a name. We'll just go ahead and call this Repair, but you can call it anything you want. It's just a temporary name that will go away once we unload it. Go ahead and click OK, and we see Repair shows up right there. So now let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can fix our virus problem. So we're going to expand Microsoft, and then we're going to go down to Windows NT. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Type the uh, letter W, you can get there a little faster. So Windows NT, current version. All right, so under current version, we've got a lot of different things that we can edit. So let's scroll down to Win Logon. And here's where a lot of the viruses take control. So here's where you can go in and make some changes. And when you log in next time, you can take back control of your computer. So the most common one we want to do is user INIT. So user init. And you want to make sure it's pointing to, assuming that Windows is in your C drive in the Windows folder, which by default it is, you want to make sure it has that path exactly. C colon backslash Windows system32 user init.exe. When a virus takes control, it's going to change this path to go to where the virus is. So go ahead and replace it with this one. And when you log in, you'll have that control back. Now, it doesn't get rid of the virus, but it gives you control back. So you can then use antivirus tools to get rid of it at that point. Now, if you're not here because of a virus, maybe you're here for some other reason, some, something else you need to change, maybe your video settings are keeping you from being able to see Windows when you go to log in, then you can certainly go in, find what you would normally change uh, for, for a registry setting in order to make those fixes if you were in Windows. The same types of changes will work here. And then afterwards, as soon as you make those changes, they're automatically saved. You boot up into Windows, and then your problem is fixed. So now we need to unload the hive that we've just done. So what we want to do is go to where it says repair and choose unload hive. That's the folder that uh, was created when I first started this. So we'll go ahead and unload it and now it's gone. But those changes are still saved. So we can see that in under H key users, there's really nothing here that we can edit with our hive unloaded. So you've got to load that software hive in order to make those kinds of changes. So let's go ahead and choose File, 
exit. And we, again, we don't have to worry about saving it because it's already been saved automatically when we made changes to it. Now we can go ahead and click exit. And now we can just go ahead and continue on to Windows, or you could choose to turn off your PC, whichever you wanted to do. So I'll go ahead and choose to continue on to Windows, and then our uh, Windows 2019 server will go ahead and finish booting up. Windows has restarted, and we've logged, we're logging in now. And you can see that no permanent damage was done by going in and opening the registry. And that's how you go in to edit the registry during the startup and also potentially fix a virus issue in case you lose control of the computer when you try to log in.